Hey friends, welcome to this video and welcome to my channel. My name is Cafe Espresso, but you can call me Cafe. And today I thought that I would start my journey into building in The Sims 4. Now I have played Sims 1 all throughout Sims 4 and I'd have to say that the building options for The Sims 4 is actually the best. <laughs> um, and I'm not a builder, like I'm generally just a gameplay person in The Sims, but as we all know, The Sims 4 has been a bit lacking in a lot of gameplay. Um, there is some of it, but I think it gets boring quite easily, especially since I'm usually a legacy gamer. I like to play lots of generations, different generations and, and making families and kind of seeing where their storylines go. But for The Sims 4, I find that I can't even do like one generation, like two generations at the most or three is as far as I've gotten. Otherwise, I get just really bored and I start over as most of us do. So I thought I'd try and challenge myself and learn a little bit about building in The Sims 4. Um, I have built like a tiny bit, but not enough to call myself an expert. So I thought I'd take you along on this journey with me and we can go ahead and get started into the game. All right, so I've done the whole game, started it up, and we're gonna start off in Willow Creek. Now, a challenge that I'm gonna set myself is that when we build in a particular world, we have to try to use only the pack content that came with that world. So if it's a base game world, we only use base game items. If it's a Dulce, Salt, Dulce Valley, what's it called? I don't know, Strangerville pack, then we only have to use Strangerville, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Some of the packs are a little bit lacking in content when it comes to building as well so we'll see and I don't know how far this will go or even if we'll do any like community lots um, but for the start we're gonna start off here I think this is a safe space here in Willow Creek so we're gonna start off here at the Creek of Banner and we'll load it up and just so you know like I've learned a lot of my building not my building techniques but I've learned a lot from little Simsy who is a sim tuber a sim tuber I'd say and she really has a lot of good content on building and She's actually quite a beast when it comes to building in The Sims 4. If you can hear like really hard panting, that is my dog. We just came back from the beach. We had some fizz and chips and it's quite warm today. So apologies <laughs> if you can hear that in the background. I don't know how to phase him out quite yet. So you have to bear with me. So this is the original house. Um, it's not horrible, but it's also not great. The windows are quite awkwardly placed. I like this front detail here. I think we're gonna try and keep that. We're gonna stick to a lot of the aesthetic within the house and I'm gonna try and keep the shape of the house similar as much as possible. However, I do know that this is quite squished. Like this is a massive bedroom. Does that bedroom have no walls? <gasps> is that a, I didn't notice that. But that back bedroom has no walls. It just, well, it has no door. Why is that? How did that happen? I have never noticed that before until just now. Anyway, this is a two bedroom, one bathroom, little starter home. And we're gonna, like I said, try to keep the shape of it quite similar, depending, I might put a little bump out here because little Simsy says, if you wanna make a house interesting, put a bump out. Just because I don't like this kitchen situation. It's not bad, but I'm never, I've never been a fan of the kitchen being like right at the front of the house. I think it should be a little bit more back and then the living room should be in this space. So let's go ahead and delete that situation. So here's the lot that we have. We are going to put down a square. So we're gonna make it like that. Um, and we're gonna, little Simsy says, smaller is often better. Um, Cause yeah, I've noticed as well, like in most, some of the Sims builds, the houses are like really big, but then they're quite empty <laughs> in terms of like furniture. So we're gonna try to, what's that too tall? gonna try and fix that that's better um, so let's get the layout of the inside before we start getting crazy so we can have the master bedroom so the big bedroom double bed bedroom there even no 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 that won't work then we have the smaller bedroom single bed bedroom like that's almost too big as well and then I was thinking I know I said we're gonna keep true to the original shape but hear me out this will be where the kitchen goes like that oh like that and then this can be the bathroom Oh, 
Oh wait, hold on, no, no. I've done it. Done something wrong. That'll completely block off the bedroom. <laughs> um, how did I want to do this? So, if we take this in, we make that a little bit like narrower. There we go. That makes a little bit more sense, I think. And then we can have bathroom. There. there we go. So we've got the kitchen, we've got the bathroom, big bedroom, smaller bedroom, living room slash dining room potentially. I don't know. A lot of people don't like hallways, but I think hallways are very appropriate in some things. Short wall height. Do we go medium wall height or do we go short wall? Mm, let's start off with oh no, let's start off with medium and see how we go. And then they had like a patio out the front. But also they had like a little design where it went up like that and then it went out. And then it went that way. Like so. Is that not one room now? There we go. That's one room now. That was weird. Anyway, so that is the outside. We can do the roof now. And I don't know about you, but like I mainly utilized in The Sims 1, 2, 3, I utilized the auto build, auto roof. Because like I said, I wasn't really a builder. I wasn't interested. That wasn't my style of gameplay. Also the building stuff for Sims up to Sims 4 was quite difficult. So didn't use building options, just did a lot of gameplay. Um, so let me know, let me know if you if you could build houses in The Sims 3 and if you were quite alright at it, but I was most definitely, I hated it. My brother could do it, he was like, well he's always been more, a little bit more like on that creative scope than me, so he found not a lot of issues in building in The Sims. Oh that's fine, oh it's cool be. No, I want to keep it that high. Um, no one's going to look at the back of the house. Out of sight, out of mind. Don't know how to fix it. If you know how to fix it, then you can comment. But I do not know how to fix it. Why is it doing that? Do go here? Alright, and this is also a bit where I think I'm going to struggle to make it look kind of nice. Because I want to drag it out. Does that not look silly? Oh, it's too long. Is it too long? It was too long. Let's put um, a pillar there, 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 and there. Oh dear, you can tell that I'm not great at <laughs> controlling. Um, one out. Oh wait, hold on. Let's let's work smart, not hard. How do we work smart, not hard? Uh, do we just put another one but turn it around? Clipping too. Mm -hmm. That was not smart. That was just hard. How do they? How do they make it do that? That's what I wanted to do. How does one do that? Do you take it all back? Oh, it looks ugly. But the older houses have it. Oh, I don't know if I like that honestly. But like I said, we're going to stick to to the aesthetic, and that does look a lot cleaner. And we can bring this down. Pillars are now in an awkward spot. Oh no, that made it worse. Made it worse. So you kind of need them to be one out so that they look like 
the pillars are there for a reason and they're not just like there for funsies you know what I mean um oh well I don't know how to fix it so it's gonna stay like that <laughs> it's going to stay to there then I want to do double stairs I quite like these square ones they're like really simple okay back space game oh and my voice is failing on me we'll do that and that is the the that <laughs> that's that okay let's see front doors base game i think we should do a fun front door this should we go we'll make this a black and white house <gasps> why what's intercepting what's there what's there forgot to put a pillar there but no seriously what's what's blocking me is it this is that blocking me Mm. That was blocking me. All right, well, fair enough. Actually, you can tell, also tell I don't use this cheat very often. Ho ho! There we go. That's better. There we go. Just go BB. I'm turning it off for now because I don't really know much about spacing anyway we can always turn it on if we need it for these we need quite like, that will look silly that does not fit what is that no that's not a good enough window I'm trying to make it affordable as well so we can't go too overboard just one window going to be saved hold on maybe we won't be saved hold on let's let's do a think a little think no no um is this the tall one no is this the tall one that's the tall one it looks a little silly doesn't it mm. okay we're gonna copy that and we're just gonna gonna have to live with it can oh but then everyone can see into my house oh, maybe maybe not oh that's not part of the base game goodness me um base game maybe it's the walls maybe we should change the wall height whoa that is better that looks better already did that that didn't do anything to the roof okay thank goodness did nothing to the roof uh, what's that? Oh, you need a certain wall height to have. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. You need to have certain wall height, wall height to have certain windows. I don't know. I thought we had it, but then we didn't. Because then I just don't like the fact that those ones are empty. But maybe that's just something I need to live with. I mean, what could we possibly do? This is a bedroom, so I can oh, do as I say and go there. Um, that's the bathroom. So this one can have like maybe a smaller, less freaky looking window. And then for the bathroom, we can have, oh, that's way too big. It's way too big. Someone could easily sneak a peek in there. I feel like that's high enough. We'll try two. We'll see how we go with two. But if we need to remove it, we will remove it. I'm trying to not be too pedantic about <laughs> the placement of the windows, but I'm like, the more windows, the more light. Afternoon, evening, uh, morning. Ooh, we'll go midday. Is that midday? That's afternoon light. Like, ooh. Morning. Ugh, that didn't help anything. All right, whatever. Anyway, we'll get rid of this one and we will just put, we'll just have to live with that because the rest of the house has it. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. Let's color in the roof. We'll make it, I think this is the black and white house in terms of theme and then a lot of them have this like brick 
detailing for the bottom. So we'll do that as well. I have to stay on brand. And then here we go to brick. We'll pick this red, I think, to paint that. And make that kind of fit in as well with the bottom. Because see, that one, that one has the brick there, but then it has plain there. And I don't understand why they would do that. Like, I don't know. It feels inconsistent. Although that's that's a lot of the Sims, isn't it? Inconsistent. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go with black and white theme. Can't really see that because I put the pillars there, but oh well. There we go. Do those ones. I wish I could be more smooth with my Sims control, but I'm not smooth enough. I'll we'll make the trim black. We'll do this one. What do these look like if they're black? Um, I think I like these. There. And then we can just keep these white. Yeah, that's the outside. Do we need to move like the house back? Or do we just need to make the porch a little bit narrower? Yeah, because I don't know how often you would use that space, but that's what we're going to do. That looks a little bit better. I think it's a little bit less on the road. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. All right. Let's do the landscape. Now I'm not, I'm not promising anything. Definitely not promising anything. I don't think this is going to be well. Where do I get, how do I get terrain? Is this terrain? This is terrain. How do I get that terrain? No, that's a tile. That's not terrain. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's terrain. Um, we're going to go with this one and we're just going to spray that because the edges of the house have moved. Oh, that's too bright. Too bright. Too bright, too bright, too bright. And then we're going to take this and we're going to make it smaller because, yeah, like I said, the edges of the house have moved, therefore the indent of the house has moved. Well, that side ended up lining up pretty nicely. And who cares about the back? No one's looking at the back. I'm not looking at the back. So therefore, you're not looking at the back. Okay, let's do some... What, what plants do they use? They kind of just lose, like, weedy-looking plants. I don't know about you, but that kind of look like, looks like weeds to me. Tiny plants. Do we have tiny plants? Where are they finding their tiny plants? That is the question. Well, those are nice. That way. I'm not going to do too much landscaping because... Like I said, who even can bother? Certainly not me. Certainly not I. I cannot bother. Can you tell that I don't landscape or that I don't do this very often? Oh, this is where we need jacks. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Okay. This is where we need that. Oh, this is where that comes in handy. Um, trying to make it not look terrible because I have no idea how to how to make it look nice <laughs> again I'm not a landscaper I don't don't do it just because I am I am lazy I am a lazy lazy creature therefore I don't often care about such things like clip it into the house because it's made of objects ah okay well that's my landscaping it's beautiful I have truly outdone myself um, we're gonna put like a little bit. What did they use? They used these ones. So we're gonna use that one as well. There we go. Try and make it kind of blend in. Um, mm, do, 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 do. Oh, mailbox. I don't know where a mailbox comes from. So the base game mailbox is that one. Beauty. Beauty, eh? And then we're gonna do a bin for the outside. We're gonna pop it like right there. Now what you could have done is you could have probably made this like a little bit of a patio situation by making the bathroom smaller, which I feel like we could have done, but I don't want to do that. So let's do the inside. Let's do the doors. So we're going to choose, I quite like this one. They're just going to be white, but there's going to be a door there. There's going to be a door there and then there's going to be a door there. And then for the kitchen, we're going to do an archway. Should we do a white? Yeah, because yeah, I feel like that's just nice and makes the space a little bit more open. The kitchen could even be smaller, I think. Um, obviously, we'll have to adjust the window. 
Where's that? No. The kitchen is smaller. That makes that looks actually a little bit better. It looks less wide. Um, oopsies. Okay, let's do the cup. So for um uh no, no. I had a I had a vision. Bear with me. Dark. And then we do where was it? Was it a wallpaper? I feel like a grey. Yes, that. That looks so good, don't you think? I think it looks really good. Those windows could even be closer together. Um, and then for the bedrooms, I always like to do carpet for bedrooms because I'm like, in real life, I would want carpet because winter is a thing and I want my feet to be warm. I don't want to have to get out of bed in the middle of the night to go to the toilet and be shocked by how cold the floor is. So I will be warm. I choose warmth. Can you hear that? My dog has just had like a nose operation yesterday because he's an English bulldog. They, they just have breathing issues as a part of who they are. Anyway, so he's had a nose operation. He was meant to have like his soft palate um, reduced because his bulldog soft palates, I think they hang low just naturally and it's just causing him to get things stuck in there. He's sounding like he's choking a lot. Um, so it would have helped with breathing and in the long term, like it will help because it'll make he'll get the benefits of being able to breathe easier and so he'll have a, a little bit of an easier time when he gets older. Do these go grey or do we go... no that looks better. He'll have an easier time Whoops. just breathing as he gets older and obviously they just have a lot of heart and lung issues so we did that and now he's just like he's fine he did well in surgery anesthesia was fine um, he ate, so that's always an indication that everything's fine, but he's just making a lot of new sounds that I'm not used to. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, we'll start, let's start with the least interesting. Let's start with the bathroom. So I'm thinking that this is like a couple house or maybe it is, you know, roommates, young adult roommates, they've just moved out of the parents' house, couple of friends and they kind of just want their own little space. So I'm trying to make this as cheap as possible, but also nice. <laughs> I'm not a fan of how the showers sometimes have that because then that makes the pl their placing a little bit awkward at times. So we can do, yeah, let's do the toilet there. Actually, no, no, I've had a better idea. Let's do the shower there. We can do toilet there and then we can have really basic white 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 what do I want like a grey I think grey might be less meh to the eyes I can even do like that um, and then one more like that um, is that too cluttered then I feel like that's a little too cluttered so we're gonna remove that we're just gonna have plain old cabinet but then you see then it's awkward to get to the toilet maybe we should make the bathroom smaller is the bathroom size even the issue? Or is it just my placement skills? So let's go, let's move the shower there. Move the toilet to that side. And then we can have the sink there. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, quite sparse bathroom, but like we said, it's a cheap house for cheap people who cannot afford an expensive house. Um, we're not going to worry so much about decorations at the minute. We're going to just try and get the layout of everything and then we can worry about all of that. So again, we're going to choose a cheap, um, would that no? No, 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 that work? I want it to be here, but then it won't look nice. <laughs> Let's have a little think. Okay, we're going to have like at least a good stove least we can always move the window because we can we've got the power and always put in a fire alarm above the stove I always do that because I've had too many traumatic experiences of just everything burning down do we have like a blue or do we want I can't really see let's get some lights in here yes oh, I love that they made these little these round ceiling lights smaller so you don't see them as much because they are powerful and they will be utilized. 
Okay, so we're back in the kitchen. Let's see what, I feel like, no. I feel like it has to be kind of a neutrally color. Maybe, ooh, that's horrible. That will work, that'll do. That'll do, donkey, that'll do. Then that freaking cabinet is not even. Oh well, we're just gonna have to get over it, everyone. We're just gonna have to live with it, because that's just how it is. That's just how it is, unfortunately. I have done this without taking into consideration that we need a fridge. So we're gonna get a cheapy fridge. Ew, it's kind of ugly. So maybe we should move that one to there. And we'll just get a regular plain sink. Curtains, I'm like really, you know, that's a little bit too dark. Oh, that's just a little too big. What massive curtain. Oh, maybe this, this will work. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's just clipped into the stove. That's not good. Let's swap these two. There we go. And then I feel like that's a little bit more fire safety conscious. Not that it matters. I think you can just set yourself on fire if you really want to. Maybe have like a little microwave. And then I really like the fact that they added these kind of like end counters to kind of finish it off and make it look a little bit better. You can have a paper towel. We're just gonna do plain white ones, eh? Oh, here's the downfall. Like, I love the seasons beds because they're, I think they're very nice. Base game beds are not, but we can work with it. We can make it work. We can make it work. Let's just be positive. There we go. Close enough. You gotta make up your mind. Do you want it to be functional or do you want it to look nice? <laughs> that could still be functional, eh? I don't know if that'll be functional. Do we want to make this room smaller then? That looks fine. Like, it's a, it's a new house. We could always, like, make the kitchen even smaller because this is just wasted counter space there you go and then you've got a smaller kitchen that works and this could be like a kids room or a roommate's room if you had one you could copy the thing next door so you could have had a bargain there could have been a sale so we could do like a really plain desk living room let's do sit where i want you to sit we have like a cheap cheap tv and then we have a darker couch i don't know why i like that actually but that looks nice. Can we fit the dining table actually? Like a small one? Could we, could we, could. And then we can probably put some decorations on the wall to make it look a little bit less empty. Oh, this is new. I haven't seen that one before. It's ugly. Don't ever ask me to critique artworks because I'll just say it's ugly. I love those basic plants. They're so nice. See, the thing is we don't want to make it too decorated. Otherwise the price, I think the price goes up. That's the house, guys. We did it. That is the entrance to the house. Very simple, still keeping into theme with the rest of the neighborhood. And then you go inside and you see the living room first, which I quite like a lot better than the kitchen there and then the living room there. I think it's a little bit less, like it's still small, but it's less cramped. And then you've got maybe a kid's bedroom or a roommate's bedroom. You've got the main bedroom. You've got a little hallway. You've got your small kitchen, totally functional, hopefully, I don't know. And then you've got your simple shower. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, I am Cafe Expresso, your friendly Australian red panda, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.